you doing in there? Henry Olsen here from Super Simple Guitar and today we're going to be checking out a classic rock guitar tune, probably one of the first ones ever, Ramble. This tune actually inspired Jimi Hendrix, so if it inspired him then you have to know how to play this. So funny story, my friend Martin visited me today, he's an old friend and he said, hey you have to do this tune, he's the one that painted the, the picture in my studio. So I said, alright let's see if we can kind of get a sound, you know, this sounds good. And, you know, we got kind of carried away and here I am teaching it. So, my friends, let's get right into it without any further ado. Now you know the backstory. Um, it's pretty simple. If you've been playing for a couple of weeks even, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get this pretty quickly. Um, and it's very fun because you can play along, um, you know, even if you're a beginner, you don't have to worry about a lot of strumming and a lot of crazy stuff, right? Okay, so it goes like this. We're starting off on a D major chord. But the only thing that you're going to do differently is we're not going to let that first string ring, okay? So we're just going to kind of release that middle finger and mute out the first string however you want to. You can mute it with your third finger or with your first finger, just kind of touch it, that'll mute it out, right? And then the only other thing that we're allowing to happen with this D is this fifth string, we're also going to let it ring sometimes. It, I hear it in the tune, it sounds good. So. Sometimes let that A come in there, let it creep in. Other times just play the D. You know, you can do a little variation of it, but that's kind of like what my ear is hearing. So feel free to have the A in there. And then you play that two times, so it's D, D, and then it goes into E major. Okay. So that's D, D, E. That happens two times. D, D, E. And then the thing about this E here that we can also do is you can mute out this string, the third string with your first finger, and that's gonna give you this tighter sound. So now it's muted out. And I'm, I'm muting it by just releasing pressure. So I'm, I'm kind of visualizing a normal E major chord, but releasing pressure with my first finger. And that's muting it out, giving me a crispy sound. Rather than having that that third in there. So instead of we're getting okay. So sometimes I can hear that third in there, sometimes he's taking it away. So depend it's kind of personal preference, but I, I like to leave it out a lot of the time. Okay, so that's one thing you can do in that E major. Another thing is don't strum it like a like a strum. Kind of slow it down just a little bit so you get that some of that arpeggiated sound, right? So See that? Let me over exaggerate it. Right? You don't want to go that slow, but you want to have a little bit of that arpeggiated sound in there, okay? And that's, you know, if you're not a total beginner anymore. If you're a total beginner, just play D and E, it'll be fine. But if you want to kind of get the subtleties of what's going on, then, then try to do some of this stuff, okay? Okay, so D, D. That happens two times, right? Then it goes D, D, A. And for the A, we're not playing the entire A major chord. We're playing the second, third, fourth string, and the open fifth string, which is like a rock A, right? So I'm barring down. Again, if you're a beginner, just play a normal A major. That'll be fine. But if you want to get that tight sound, um, use less strings, right? So second, third, fourth, and the open fifth. Okay, so D, D, two, three, four, one, two, D, D, two, three, four, one, two, D, D, A, two, three, four, one, two, then it goes D, D, E, two, three, four, one, two, now the last two bars, it's D, D, B7, if you don't know B7 um, or E or A or a lot of these other chords, my free picture chord book is linked above or below me. So you can go download that. It's a 42 page picture chord book that I give away for free as a free PDF. So if you want to learn all these chords and more chords, just go download that so it's easier to follow along with this lesson and other lessons as well. Okay? So B7, 
book. And if you don't know that, just go download that book, right? And then after that, there's this little pentatonic run. Let me play it and then I'll teach it. Okay, so it's just an E minor pentatonic one in the first position, right? Um, descending. Okay, so I'm starting off on the third string first, um, sorry, the first string third fret. And we're always going to be playing the note, the fretted note, and then open. Okay, so it's three open, go to the next string, three open, next string, two open, next string, two open, two open, three open. So that's three open, three open, two open, two open, two open, three open. And on that last one, I'm giving it a little bend and we're spending a little bit more time on it. So the other ones are like this. And then this one, we're giving a little more time, a little bend, and then open. And then it goes. You're back into the tune, okay? So let me play that whole thing for you. And if you're an All Access member, you're also going to get the tab and the backing track that I was playing to. So don't worry. If you're not yet an All Access member, all of the courses I've ever made are in one place, plus all of the extra goodies to my weekly lessons are there as well. If you already are an All Access member, I just want to take a moment here to say thank you for your support. It really helps me you know, keep the lights on in here and keep making these videos. You see I'm having three cameras here, you know, that's because of you. So thank you, All Access members. Um, there's a seven day free trial if you want to check it out. Okay, so let's play it. D, D, two, three, four, one, two. D, D, two, three, four, one, two. D, For the B7, one thing that I forgot to say is we do a slightly arpeggiated thing here. We play first the fifth string, then the fourth string, and then do like this little um, strum up. So if you're a beginner, just strum it. Don't worry about that. But to get kind of like what he's doing, it's this. Okay, so that's D, D. Let that ring, and then comes that little. little pentatonic run okay all right so there's one other thing that happens in this tune that I didn't play in my intro and that's this crazy solo that I can't really play properly that's why I left it out so if you want to get crazy with it and try to do it be my guest it goes like this we're buying down on the 12th fret the first and second string and with our middle finger we're playing the third string 13th fret Okay, and it's just this really crazy fast, right? To play that in time and have it sound right, I honestly can't do it. So um, I'd have to practice. So if you want to go for it, go for it. Another thing that he's doing is he's sliding in sometimes. So he's doing. Then it goes into the A. Then the D, D. Okay. All right. So that's basically it. Those are the parts. Listen to the tune. Try to play along. Um, and that is that, my friends. If you enjoyed this lesson, um, please give me a thumbs up. That helps me with the algorithm, no matter where you're watching this. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. Hit that bell. If you ever want to see me again, I'd really like to see you again. Um, and again, All Access members, thank you for your support. If you want to join the membership, you get all the extra goodies, backing track, tabs, um, and all of my courses, music theory courses, beginner guitar courses, you know, master the guitar fretboard courses, solo guitar courses, really everything that I kind of know about guitar is already there with PDF files and backing tracks and tabs and everything you need to learn in one place. Okay, that's that. Thank you for watching again. I'll see you very soon. Have a great day. Henry Olson, over now. Bye-bye.